Hello everyone, welcome to the Plurdy channel. My name is Martha, I'm marketing manager and in this video I will show you how to analyze data if there is an A-B testing uh, uh, on your website. But before we start, please make sure you subscribe to our channel so you won't miss our new videos. Put simply, A-B testing allows us to see what uh, versions of our website or specific elements on our website uh, works better for our uh, target audience. Uh, A-B testing are mostly performed by bigger online stores uh, because they have got uh, enough traffic uh, uh, for this. So how can Plurity help you uh, in performing A-B tests? Uh, so first of all, we need to set up a user group uh, for our A-B tests. We need to go to settings, open user groups and create a new uh, user group. I will name it a b testing in one of the previous videos uh, i've been given a more detailed instruction in creating user groups however uh, at this point we just need to to create uh, a new one and next step would be to go to google optimize and create new experience for example test three and we add here a URL of the page where this experience will be uh, created. And on the next step, we add variant, variant one. Uh, and after this, we need to click edit. And we will be sent to this page, which we uh, specified for, the, uh, for this uh, experiment. So we're waiting until uh, it loads. Uh, so first of all, we make some changes. So like we need to, uh, for, for example, we want to test uh, this button and we want to show it to 50% of users and hide it from 50% of users. So we, we make some changes on the website, hide the uh, uh, elements we want. Uh, uh, and then what is very important here, we need to uh, choose global JavaScript. We need to take this, um, this uh, piece of uh, uh, script and we need to delete uh, uh, the beginning and ending and apply this is basic and save of course uh, this is basically everything that we need to do in google optimize um, so then we uh, start our experiments, experiment, run it for um, a specific period of time. So here we have a test account, so there are uh, some other uh, rules uh, to fulfill. But basically when uh, everything is ready, we started our experiment uh, and we already have some data, we will be able to uh, see the, like to filter our data based on this um, experiment. So we can open our uh, heat map and in the user groups, we will have this group A-B testing. So to see uh, the performance for the users uh, who, for example, haven't seen this button, we are just choosing A-B testing and this data uh, will be shown. Uh, and the same filter can be applied for any other kind of information we have in our Plurity account. For example, for the session replays uh, as well, we will have here this group uh, uh, A-B testing. Okay, so as I mentioned, A-B testing is mostly used uh, by bigger uh, online stores. However, uh, what can we do with smaller uh, websites that ha doesn't have um, that many traffic? Uh, there are also uh, opportunities. How can we compare uh, the data? The simplest way is, of course, to compare by different uh, uh, time periods. So we just use calendar to choose, um, choose a period of the time uh, we need to. one more important thing here to add is uh, if we just remove the item we don't do um, an a b testing but we're just removing the item uh, in plurity we will see uh, the information like this information about the removed item won't be displayed so based on it we can uh, also um, compare the data and to see how many uh, clicks were before and of course there will be zero clicks after 
Uh, another thing that uh, we can check uh, the information uh, and the clicks, uh, like the total clicks for the elements that are the same for many pages on the website. For example, the heading, like the header uh, of the website, it is mostly the same for uh, on every page. So basically, this header can be uh, on thousands of pages on our website. And we can here uh, add, choose all pages, and if we, if we will see the total number of clicks uh, for the header um, on all pages, not only uh, on this specific page. Uh, so this is also very, uh, very useful. Uh, another thing for comparing is also using this user group, uh, not exactly A-B testing, but we can uh, set up some other, uh, other filtering, uh, other groups uh, to check uh, how the data is different for a different kind of, um, kind of groups. And one more important thing is that Flutter saves data about clicks uh, dynamically and not with screenshots. So basically we always see like uh, uh, actual information uh, and it is also uh, also good and very um, helpful for making some hypothesis and making some decisions. Uh, so this is it for now. I hope this video was helpful for you. Also hope to see you in the next videos. Uh, have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.